Hello and welcome to the 12th tutorial that looks at the spreadsheet section of the GCSE ICT Unit 2 Control Test. Now, I've started off here on the mark scheme and one of the things that we need to do is to be able to create a chart as one of our five marks available. Now, we've already covered these first four parts of the basic skills so if we create a chart we should be able to get five marks but it is important for future reference and also just in case you've missed something out in these first four basic skills that you can actually name appropriate title legend and axis labels and general formatting on the chart so if we make sure we've covered all of these six points here we're guaranteed to get these five marks because it's only a maximum of five marks for doing any one of these six basic skills. So let's have a look at creating a chart. If I go into the example, in here I've got a chart which shows the number of goals scored by each player. I know this because I've got a chart title. What I've also got is axis titles. This one's the vertical axis title so any time that you've made a graph you may have done this in maths previously or in science you're an experiment but you need to name your axes correctly so I've got number of goals scored and you can see that they're numbered here so the maximum is 10 but you can see how many goals they've scored by how high up the series goes on the chart now I've got player here as my horizontal axis title and what that means is that each one of these here, one of these coloured bars, corresponds with a name here in my legend. So Clive Roberts, the dark blue, is represented by this dark blue column here. And so on and so on. John Phillips would be red, but he's got no gold, so that doesn't show up there. Owen Evans is this green, and so on and so forth. So then... Let's have a look at actually creating a chart. So if I go into our spreadsheet that we've been creating as we've been going along, I want to create a chart based on the number of goals scored by each player. So what I'm going to do is insert column and choose the chart type. And what it will do is it will bring in a blank chart, just looks like this blank rectangle, the chart area onto the worksheet that we're currently using. So what we're going to do now is we need to select the data. So I'm going to select the data which will make up our chart. Now this can be quite a time consuming process but it's actually very very easy. Now what we're doing, if you remember our legend had the names of each player with a corresponding colour and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to add a series. So if I click add, it's going to ask me for the series name and the series value. So the series name that will appear on the legend is Clive Roberts. I'm going to go back to choose my value and Clive Roberts has scored 10 goals so I click on the 10 and I go back there. So you can see that the series name is Clive Roberts and the value is 10. So it's going to show Clive Roberts here as 10 goals and I press OK. Then what I need to do is simply add in all of the others. So I add a new series. I'm going to choose the series name, which is John Phillips. Go back, choose the amount of goals that he scored, which was five, and I press OK. Add again. Series name this time is Owen Evans. And Owen Evans has scored two goals. So this is literally the process that you would go through in adding every single part of your spreadsheet or at least all of the cells that matter. So I'm only going to go in to do up to Tom Morris just to show you as an example. And Tom Morris has scored six so I click on the six and I press OK. So if I now press OK you can see that we've just got a chart here with the names and their corresponding columns. But at the moment, it doesn't really say a lot. It just says that Clive Roberts has got 10 of something. John Phillips has got 5 of something. Owen Evans has got 2 of something. And Tom Morris has got 6. So we really need to add in some titles there so we can see exactly what's going on. So then, I'm going to 
make sure that the outside of my chart is selected and we've got these different tabs here design you can choose the colors and the actual look of your chart but we're not going to be concerned about that for the moment but I'm going to go to layout and the layout of the chart will actually let me change the axis titles so if I change the vertical title and I'm going to display axis title with vertical text and resize the chart to fit it in and I'm simply going to call that one number of goals and what I'm going to do because that doesn't fit in very well if I make sure I've got it clicked so that it's got the solid line outside it if I go to the home tab I can actually change the size I can also change the color if I wanted to anything I want but I'm going to keep it as black because I think it looks more professional that way and I've got it as bold but it doesn't have to be bold if you don't want to so there's my vertical axis so it's at least we know now that these represent the number of goals that they've scored but what I want to do underneath now if I click on my chart again and go to layout if I do axis titles and this time it's the horizontal axis title and we're going to display that just below the chart I'm going to change this to player and again if I want I can resize it so I'll keep it roughly the same size but it's entirely up to you so now at least we can see exactly what the, the chart is representing but I also want to put a title in there really so I need to go to layout again and this time I'm going to do chart title and you can either put it above the chart or you can center it and overlay it so that it will go somewhere just inside the chart here so I'm going to put it above the chart and I'm going to call this number of goals scored by each player so you can see there now and that I've actually got a title I've got the axes appropriately named and I've also got my series data there and if I want I can add data labels I can center them in there if I choose all of them and I enter those individually and I will go to data labels and center data labels center data labels center so now it's a bit more clear so we've got this on the side to tell us and we've also got the actual amount inside the series so that's how we create the actual chart and remember I've just done that for the first four people in my spreadsheet but I need to actually do that for all 12 for it to be a true accurate demonstration of the information so now what I'm going to do is I am going to put this into a separate sheet down here so it should go onto not sheet one but it should say chart one so if I go to design I can move the chart by clicking on that icon up there move chart and I'm going to put it into a new sheet and what I can do is now call this let's call this goals chart press OK and now you see that it is opened up in a separate sheet and it's taken it away from this worksheet so if I click and hold on sheet one I can actually reposition that to go to the front and goals chart goes next to it so that if we look at the mark scheme is how you can achieve create a chart and have appropriate title legend axis labels and formatting on the chart